Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Tuesday, March 26th. A massive rescue operation will continue throughout the day after a shipping vessel crashed into a major span of I-695 in Baltimore, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. You can see the video of the bridge collapsing there. The cargo ship collided with the support on the bridge. It was around 1.30 this morning. So far, at least two people have been rescued from the water, one of them in critical condition. This is a fluid situation. You want to stay right here with CBS Philadelphia for updates throughout the day. And a recovery operation continues today for a six-year-old girl from our area who fell into the Chester Creek over the weekend. Yesterday, crews used a sonar device to look for Linasia Brooker, but they were not able to locate her. Officials say they will bring in canines today to help in the search. We have crews monitoring the recovery operations today, and you can see updates here throughout the day on cbsphiladelphia.com. And new overnight, a seafood heist in South Philly. Police say thieves broke into a tractor trailer parked on Patterson Avenue near 7th Street. This happened around 2 o'clock this morning. We spoke with the truck driver. He said he was sleeping at the time and didn't realize that the theft had happened until police knocked on his window, the truck's window. We're told at least one pallet full of frozen shrimp was stolen along with diesel fuel from the truck's gas tank. Now, more on our next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Grant Gilmore. Hi, Grant. Hey, Janelle. Uh, cloud cover already beginning to build in across the region this morning, hoping for a little more sunshine, which would give us a little more warmth, but it just doesn't look like that's going to be in the cards for us today. But all in all, not a bad day, just not as sunny or really as warm as it was yesterday. We're going for 51 across Philadelphia today. Down the shore, a northeasterly wind will keep it a little cooler. Highs near 46 degrees and then 51 degrees up across the Lehigh Valley. Here's the forecast model as we go into the afternoon. Looking at that increasing cloud cover, we may see some areas of patchy fog or mist to start off your Wednesday. But if you're not seeing the rain in the morning, take the raincoat with you anyway, because I still do expect scattered showers to develop across the entire region as we head through Wednesday afternoon. The chance of rain will start to shift to the east into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, but a developing low pressure system to the south and west there over Georgia and northern Florida will then push north and bring the chance of rain back into the area as we head into Thursday afternoon. 51 degrees, though, for your Tuesday. We'll see temperatures bottom out near 44 degrees tonight under mostly cloudy skies. 58 tomorrow, but again, plan on those developing scattered showers. Seven-day forecast looks to keep the chance of rain into Thursday. It should clear out by Friday and then mainly dry conditions all the way through the Easter weekend with high temperatures right around 60 degrees. Janelle, back over to you. All right, thank you, Grant. And you can always get Grant's Next weather forecast and our latest stories right here on cbsphiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great day.